We have our new Gen 6 cars here, just fresh from the Tour de Daytona, um, fueled by Sunoco, of course. And we're just really excited to have them here. I know there's been several years of very hard work that's gone into this. Um, a lot of you folks have, have put work into this, and it's very much appreciated. So we're going to have a great speed weeks, but I'm going to first turn it over to Mike Houghton, who's going to tell you about the cars. Thanks, Lisa. And, uh, as she mentioned, these cars have been, uh, we launched in Detroit last Monday, the road to Daytona, because in part of launching this car, we felt like it was a significant enough change for NASCAR that uh, we wanted to include the whole world in this process. And there's no better place to close out the road to Daytona than in Daytona in front of the headquarter employees between ISC and NASCAR. That, that we do all these things for, and we do it all collectively together. The uh, the Gen 6 car, hopefully everybody has heard of. If you haven't, I will introduce you to NASCAR's Sprint Cup Gen 6 car. And it's called Gen 6 because as we started to launch this car uh, and be ready for the 13th season, uh, we, we, did a, we went back to 1948 and looked at the milestones along the way where NASCAR at this level in our sport made significant changes to the car. It could have been the wheelbase. It could have been the, uh, the uh, uh, performance, uh, I mean, the under the hood. It could have been uh, uh, most all of the generations certainly were represented by major appearance looks. And so there was a, there was a generation one, a generation two, a generation three, and a four, and a five that evolved us to this generation six. But, but what's exciting about the Generation 6 for us old fans is this gives us a flashback to the way NASCAR was when the cars looked like what was in the showroom. And actually the grill in this car, this is the Ford Fusion, but the grill in this car is a part. If you've got a 2013 Ford Fusion and something you, you say somebody backed into you, I won't say you ran into something, <laughs> and had to go get a grill replacement, that's the same grill. And, and back in the late 70s, I remember a race in Richmond where Kyle Petty wrecked his Grand Prix Pontiac and didn't have the parts to fix it. He went into the parking lot, found a rental, <laughs> thank you, sir, found a rental Grand Prix Pontiac, took the front end off of it, put it on his race car and raced. So this is a bit of a throwback for our old fans, but in today's world, with the, the significance of the uh, automobile manufacturer's relationship in our sport, and the, the, the deed we have for their involvement, this is a huge moment for them to be able to stand tall and brag about their cars racing on our sport. It also fuels the rivalry between brands in our sport. So there's a lot of folks that, that will cheer for a brand of a car, and now we give them a good reason to do that because they could be driving a car of the same make and brand and park next to this, and they look very similar. So it was only fitting for us to bring the Gen 6 at the end of the road to Daytona, here to Daytona, but, but before it goes anywhere else for Speed Weeks, introduce the two of you, because this is our race car. You may not have anything to do with building it. Robin Pemberton and a group, a group at the R&D Center, along with some other folks, and a lot of hours and wind tunnels and, and 18 months of development work between OEMs and NASCAR, and race teams testing, hours and hours of wind tunnel, hours and hours of on race track uh, has produced this car that we'll launch here this weekend. But all of us depend on this car to, to make a great positive statement for NASCAR. So it seemed appropriate that uh, when they showed up in Daytona to take a moment and, and say hello to it, then Godspeed because we're all very reliant on its success. And we all share this. If you walk through this building, there's a lot of photographs on all floors that tell the history of NASCAR. And there's milestones that are represented in those photographs that remind us where we came from and how we got here. 50 years from now or less, even, 
when they're celebrating some benchmark moment in NASCAR, there'll be great conversation, in my opinion, around the Gen 6 car and what it did for NASCAR. And so this is a significant moment, and we wanted to share it with everybody. So thank you. Everybody go back to work.